Just finished a 41 minute stream about my glasses, all my glasses. But guys, I've been holding off a couple days because I wanted to finish that glasses video. But this is the exciting one. I have here another order from Adidas. I vowed myself never to buy shoes again. And I definitely have too many slippers where I don't need any more. But then Adidas had a 40% off outlet clearance sale. So additional off the sale on the website already. And I could not resist. So I, I, I ordered some stuff. So this is gonna be that unboxing. I'm gonna bring out the Adidas Adelette Comfort Slides. And I will compare them with my existing Adidas Bounce, Alpha Bounce, and Adidas Adelette Boost. I should probably fix that description. But anyway, let's open this up, guys. Everyone always loves an unboxing video. It's like Christmas. And you guys share in the experience of opening gifts. But then maybe it's like creates a little bit of envy if you want it to, but you don't because you're over there on the other side of the screen. And you can't take part in my in my joy as much as I can. So I got two boxes in here, guys, from Adidas. But the other one is a little bit of a reveal surprise. I'll save that for later. But let's bust out this. Adelette Comfort. I got the all black. So these are regularly $45. They went on sale for $40 and then the 40% off of that. I think brought is like $24, $26, I don't know. You guys can do the math. Um, but let's open that up. Size, nine US ice. Oh, so nine US women's. Cause I noticed that the men's didn't have the sale so you couldn't get the additional. But I know that these slides are, they're designed the same. Uh, so like a men's eight is a women's size nine. So for some reason they still have them um, designated for men and women, but they're the same slides. To my knowledge anyway, we'll find out. Pulling these out of the box. Get rid of this wrap. Ooh, they feel very rubbery, very like springy. Okay. So there you guys have it. The all black Adelette Comfort. I've heard, I've watched enough YouTube videos and everyone's saying that these are the most comfortable slides ever, ever. Um, and I'm coming from again, the Adidas Alpha Bounce, I'll go, I'll go grab those, and the Adidas Boost, which I think are completely marketing. And I'll tell you why. All right guys, so, a while ago I showed this in another video, but this is the um, Super Cloud, I think it's called. Super Cloud, which feels very similar in terms of materials. It's got the springy material in the, in the insole, and then the outsole feels kind of like a bounce um, material. And these are super comfortable. Thin profile, Obviously not as cushy because of how thin it is, but it's functional because they're uh, thong slippers. So you got that little toe hook for extra stability, um, you know, security basically when you're wearing these. I do like these more for activities because they stay on your foot better. Um, I got these on sale simply because uh, they're half size off from each other. I think, or one's a size eight, the other one's a size nine. Um, I think these were like, 16, 17 dollars. I wish they were the same size though. This would have been great. Anyway, I went from that and I graduated finally to when the Alpha Bounce went on sale. And these, you have these guys. So you have a thick, thick, high uh, outsole. And then you have the springy bounce material. I don't know if the bounce is actually the insole or the outside. I feel like the bounce itself is this huge outsole. And this springiness is the same material, I'm pretty sure, that you can find in the Comfort. Same springiness. And the same springiness in the Super Cloud. Okay, maybe the Super Cloud's a little older, so it's a bit more firm. 
But yeah, these for sure, I will say are super comfortable. I'm about to try these comforts. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but this ultimate comfort. Cause you know what I bought for my birthday just a month ago, I tried the Boost, Adelette Boost. They look sweet, they look amazing. But when you put them on, I don't know if you've ever tried Ultra Boost and compared it with Pure Boost. It's kind of like that sensation. But these Boost slides, um, it's not that same kind of cush springiness that you would get from an Ultra Boost. And it's the same feeling if you have a Pure Boost versus an Ultra Boost. You have the cool looking Boost material there and it's thick. But if you notice, there's a little dip into that to that sole, so it actually, you're standing in thinner and even less boost in the middle. Just kind of hugs the outside for a, like a rocky feel to keep you secure inside. And, that, and then you have this footbed that's kind of stiffer material too. And then you have a very thin hard outsole for durability. And uh, yeah, it's just nowhere near as springy as the Alpha Bounce. So yeah, I'm gonna say comfort-wise, if it's a choice between the Boost and the Alpha Bounce, I recommend I would recommend the Alpha Bounce if you're looking for comfort. Looks, I mean that's subjective. Yeah, they they are kind of the same the same because I really like this black and white colorway um, for both. Um, also, I bought a size eight for the Alpha Bounce. I'm a natural size eight in every brand. And I do think the Alpha Bounce is a more comfortable fit. It's a looser fit than the proper size eight of the Boost. I would probably have gotten like a half size or maybe a full size up on the Boost if you're thinking about it. Try them in the store. I, I'm, I'm okay, like if, especially if I'm not wearing any socks, they sit fine, but you can definitely tell from like where my foot is, um, I got more clearance from the edges when I wear this size eight alpha bounce versus this size eight boost. All right, I'm gonna try on now these comforts. You can tell upper, it's kind of similar to this boost. What you're paying for guys in the boost is materials. Not quite, maybe, maybe there's some tech in there too, but this is leather. Leather with like a accent on these, the stripes is, is rubber, but the actual strap itself is a nice leather. And then you got the boost. Here on the comfort, looks similar, but this is all rubber, this part. And then you have, looks like, I think the, there's a, there's a liner of like a harder rubber around this comfort bouncy material, which again, what I suspect is the same thin layer on top of the Alpha Bounce. All right, I'm putting them on. I got the size nine women's. I don't know, you're probably gonna can see that, guys, but this is not a great way of doing this video. Forgive me. Okay. There are no pressure points. It's a, you do feel, I have flat feet, so I do feel the slight lift in the arch but I'd say in terms of that arch lift, the, I feel it most in the boost. And then I'm gonna try on the alpha bounce again. <laughs> you guys are just looking at my chest. Okay, okay guys, here it is. Moment of truth, which one should you buy? Because right now I have the alpha bounce in my right foot. You can see the clearance there. I have the new uh, Adelette Comfort on my left foot. I'm gonna switch it out. And now I'm wearing the Boost on my left foot. You can guys see clearance wise there too. Ugh. Still, still an okay fit. But guys, the Alpha Bounce wins. I don't know what it is. The springiness material. Putting the springy material on top of the bounce sole, this is all bounce, gives me more of a springy, responsive comfort feel, okay? I'll use those words. It's responsive, 
It's bouncy, it's called bounce, but it's comfortable. There's no pressure points on this footbed. Also, there's, there's a slight lift in that arch, but it's very, it's not noticeable. And I don't know, maybe it's something to do with these, these uh, like little rivets or grooves that they've incorporated into the sole for breathability or whatever it is. It sits really comfortable. My foot sits really comfortable in the Alpha Bounce. When putting on the Adelac Comfort, the word that I can think of is damp. It just feels damp. Like, like if you were, imagine Alpha Bounce is almost like, if you were to imagine how it would feel to like run and skip along a cloud, that's what Alpha Bounce feels like. I know they have cloud foam or whatever like that, but when I put on the Alpha Bounce, I get like this sensation of like responsiveness, but still have that cushy feeling. That thin layer of cushy, cushiness is, is really nice. It's, it's a pleasant experience. And then imagine that stepping on an Adelette Comfort is like stepping on a bean bag, but not as obviously stiff as a bean bag once you get reach the bottom, but it's just damp. So this is, you know, it's comfortable for like, I guess walking around the house. Um, I would, yeah, for sure. Around the house, um, maybe some simple uh, errands or chores. This is this is a good one to work with. Um, you know, if you're in your, uh, you know, sleep robe or just moping around the house, I these are this is what this sensation gives me. It's like uh, I want to relax around the house, walk around, and I don't want to feel any kind of pressure pressure points on my feet. Weight wise too, obviously it's bounce. Alf the Alpha Bounce has a lot more heft because of how much sole there is in there, but. Even though it's heavier. So if I were to go for a walk and I wanted to wear slides, I would wear the Alpha Bounce. Probably wear these. Um, yeah, if I'm, I, I'd, I'd walk 10K in these. Um, super comfortable, you get that responsiveness and support. It feels really good too with the grooves in the sole. Um, this is not built for support at all. This is built to like mold to you and sit down and then kind of when you find your rest spot, it just kind of like saddles your foot. Okay, so super comfortable, very lightweight, good to wear around the house. This is what I would suggest. Now, so where does the boost sit? I would wear these if I wanted more stability and structure, which is weird when you think about boost because you, you usually think boost is too, um, when it's exposed boost like this, you don't get that structure and that, um, you don't get that support because it's just, you would think soft cushion everywhere, but because of the way this was designed, where there's like that slope down into the sole, your foot actually stays better in there. And I feel there's even better lateral support on a slide. So let's say you wanted to go out and play ball, but you didn't want to wear full out socks and shoes, I would wear these to shoot around in. Cause I could still feel like I could cross and cut a little bit on these shoes. They're lower to the ground, again, because of the groove there. Um, and there's like less material between your foot and the ground compared to an alpha bounce, which almost feels like you're on a platform. I wouldn't want to play ball on these cause I feel like I'd roll my ankle. Even just like running around sideways, any kind of lateral movement, this feels a little unstable that way laterally, but I would definitely walk a lot farther and more comfortable in um, the Alpha Bounce. Guys, this isn't like some crazy, super nice uh, on feet video about all these different slides and for the style purposes. This is purely on comfort and feel, obviously based on my own personal perspective. Uh, it could be subjective to other people. A lot of people online have, have recommended the um, Adelette Comfort as the most comfortable. And I can understand why they would say that. It's got that dampening feel, like any kind of shock or whatever is just gonna be absorbed by this material. It's all that material. Look how thick that is. It does droop in a little bit in the, in, in the middle, but if you want that same material, 
on top of a responsive cushion system like the Bounce. I'm a light guy, I'm only 145 pounds. Um, your mileage may vary if you're a heavier person, maybe Bounce reacts differently to heavier people, but I could walk a much farther distance wearing the Alpha Bounce. And again, for performance, if you wanna play ball, any kind of lateral movement and stability, um, premium would be wearing the Boost. So there you guys have it. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. I am a bit of a sneakerhead, but I wear all my shoes and I only buy them when they're on sale and they're on a good deal. Having said that, let's open that other Adidas box. Reveal the other thing that I bought. I, last December, I told myself I would never buy shoes again because I went to an Adidas warehouse sale I bought five pairs of shoes, each of them were only like $30, $35, and they all retailed for $120 and up. And then Adidas had this sale. You guys, I don't know if you've seen my other shoe videos, but I am a huge fan of Boost, Ultra Boost per se, um, and laceless. I don't like tying laces, and even if my shoes have laces, I tie them in a way where I don't have to redo them all the time. So they slip on and off. So I love laceless. I wish all shoes would be laceless. And this is why I invested in these shoes. The Predator 20.1 TR for training. Size eight men's, size eight, size eight. Okay, um, these are not ultra boost. I feel like I'm gonna feel that once I put them on. I feel like I'm gonna, I might be just as let down as I was with the Adelet boost slides. Um, but, I mean, you guys gotta see this profile. It's, it's, I'm gonna say it, it's sexy. <laughs> All right, there you go. This is the Adidas Predator 20.1. Sock-like, laceless upper, prime knit. It says Predator there, I don't really like that word, you know, but whatever. But you got the Pure Boost sole. It's not Ultra Boost. I'm gonna find out how that feels. And even the outsole itself, uh, it's not continental rubber, it's just whatever their uh, standard outsole black rubber is, probably adiprene or something like that, but it doesn't say. Um, and the insole, let's see what the, is there an insole? There is no insole. It doesn't look like how it would look inside a Pure Boost, um, which is what inside a Pure Boost looks like is is what that looks like. But it's the same foam. It's not it's not Ultra Boost. I'm going to try these on, guys. You're not going to get a nice on-feet look. Um, forgive me. If you do, um, ask. Like, comment below, and I will make a video of just putting them on feet. You can and any of these any of these shoes that you've seen in my videos. If you want anything on feet, just let me know in the comments. But guys, look at oh my gosh, look how sexy these shoes look. That's so sexy. I'm not sure I'm gonna like the uh, ankle. These are these were considered soccer shoes, but I would not play soccer in these. I would not kick a ball with boost like that. All right, I'm gonna try them on. I'm just gonna try them on. Slide them on. Oh, there's a padding inside. Just pull it out. All right. Okay. I got a size eight. I'm uh, okay, the other one doesn't have padding, it's weird. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna lift my foot up. Look at that, that's sexy. Red on the other side. Uh, uh. <laughs> I've got ankle socks on, or not even, they're like no-show socks. Okay. Okay, so having Ultra Boosts, the Prime Knit doesn't quite hug my foot the same as Ultra Boost. I have Laceless Ultra Boost, I have ca I've tried Cageless Ultra Boost, I have All Terrain Ultra Boost, and I have some Boost shoes, uh, basketball shoes as well. So these are very snug around the toe box. Where you feel it, I feel it on top of my of my toes. There's there's extra, I guess, thicker material above the toe box here. So I guess, because it's made for you to kick 
a ball because it's considered soccer. I feel that when I put when I run my fingers along the top of this upper here, especially on the toe box, there's like there's like rubber rubber I don't know details. You can see that with the reflection all the way around the shoe, and I think that's for contact with the soccer ball for feel and grip. You can see that reflection all the way around. It's only on the rubber pieces that you get that reflection, right? The inner here, it's all around there too. Hold on, let me get that uh, angle right there. You can see it all there. So you feel that underneath with your foot, whereas an Ultra Boost or any kind of laceless prime knit shoe doesn't have that material. So you don't get that rigidity feeling on your foot, but here you do feel it. Perhaps over time, this will stretch out. It's not gonna feel as prominent on the foot. It's made to feel kind of loose. It's not hugging my foot so much, but you can see by the taper into the toe, the toe point, there's, there's not a lot of room in there. There's not a lot of real estate inside there. So we'll see how that feels over time. I love the look in terms of the boost feel. Again, I didn't really know if there was gonna be a huge difference between Boost and Ultra Boost, but I can feel it. Ultra Boost, I don't know what it is with the concentration of the, the foam that they use, but it's springy. It's kind of like this light springy feel. Um, boost feels, again, I, the word I can think of is damp. It's like it would just dampen any kind of shock. Um, it's gonna feel like kind of dead, but in a cushiony soft way you know what I mean not dead like like foam that's been flattened out and you don't get any kind of uh, um, um, cushioning or shock absorption but it's the foam is there you still feel that springiness but when you step down it's not gonna bounce back into you it's not gonna it's not as responsive as ultra ultra boost and definitely not as responsive as alpha bounce I'm really curious to try Light Strike, that new material. I think they created Light Strike combining both Boost, the dampening um, characteristics of Boost, and the bounce characteristics of Alpha Bounce. Really interested to try Light, light Strike. And I know Harden's new shoes uh, use Light Strike as well. Anyway guys, I can go on and on about shoes. That was the reveal. I feel like I've been talking way longer than 22 minutes about slippers and shoes, but Again, this is the Predator 20.1 TR trainer. Considered a sock shoe. I would never kick anything with the shoe. Gonna wear these for lifestyle. They had some other cool colorways online, um, but yeah, I'm super happy with how these turned out. I think the red is just the perfect hue of red that I'm digging. Probably wear these with shorts. I don't know how these are gonna look like with, with jeans. I'll, try, I'll probably make a post about these guys on Instagram if you want to check it out at FJ Sarmiento. I'll, I'll be posting that on my Instagram if you want to see some photos of me wearing these or styling them up. But these were a hundred and I'm gonna say these were 160 or something like that. And then they went down to $130 in the outlet and then 40% off that. So they came down to like. I think it was like 78, 74 dollars or something, plus tax, and shipping was free. So, yeah, I broke my rule. I bought another pair of shoes where I wasn't supposed to. I don't regret it because I love how they look. Um, the comforts, maybe there's a little bit of regret there, but those only cost me 24 bucks or something, plus tax. Um, I'm gonna wear these around the house. Um, that's what I think they're good for. I'm just gonna wear these around as soon as I get out of bed or around my desk. There's a lot of kind of like, it's not a snug feel, so it's comfortable to slide in and out. But yeah, thanks guys. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. If you like this, if you made it this far in this video, please click like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the video for this Adidas haul. Again, if you want to see any on feet, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys. 25 minutes in two seconds. Bye.